Hey, what is up guys? You have a Sony Bravia Smart TV and you have an issue with your Hulu app. It's not working, maybe it doesn't load or it's stuck on loading, it doesn't open, it's frozen, maybe it's unresponsive. Maybe you get a black screen after you click on Hulu or maybe you get some kind of error message or perhaps it's stuck on buffering, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you five steps to get you up and running right now. Uh, first thing is, this is a Sony Bravia, this is a non-Android TV, okay? Anyways, if your remote looks like this, then proceed with the video. First thing is this. With the TV on, what you want to do is you want to press and hold the power button, okay? So let's do it together. Press and hold. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold. It's going to turn off, and then it's going to turn back on. So I'm still holding onto the power button here. You can see that little green light is on there. Now go ahead and let go. Now go ahead and go into your apps here. Just press on the, uh, the home button. Press on the home button here, and then go to uh, all apps, and then go to your Hulu, open it up, and hopefully you're back at up, up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step here. So the next step here is with the TV on, what I want you to do is I want you to pull the plug, okay? TV is on, pull the plug, just like that. Wait for one minute. After one minute is up, plug it back in, your TV will automatically turn on. As soon as it turns back on, go to Hulu, open, open it up. Hopefully you're back up and running. If you're still down, then we're going to go to the next step. So the next step is again, same thing. We want to go ahead and pull the plug on the TV, just like that. Now you want to go up to wherever your uh, wireless modem router is, okay? Now some of you guys may have two of them. Like me, I have uh, one modem and one router. Most of you guys at home, you probably have one wireless modem slash router, okay? Anyways, if you just have one, pull the plug on that as well. If you have two, a router and a modem, pull the plug on both of those, okay? So after you pull the plug, wait five minutes. Five minutes is up. Just plug the power, you know, pull the power out. After five minutes, plug them all back in. Then go to your TV and plug that one in, in as well. Pop that in there. Your TV will automatically pop on. Now what you want to do is wait like two or three minutes because you have to wait for the internet to um, to get connected again. So wait two, three minutes, open up Hulu, and hopefully you're back up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check to see if you have a software update. You can see it says software update right down there. How do you get there? Very simple. Go ahead and tap on your home button. Once this menu here pops up, you want to go down to settings, down, down. And then move to the right, and then you want to go to customer support right down there. Click on enter in the remote. Software update is right down there. Let's go ahead and highlight that. Press on uh, enter. Then you get this uh, little thing down here, USB or network. You want to highlight network, and then click on OK. Do you want to start software download? It's already highlighted on yes, so I'll go ahead and click on OK. System software update data searching. Okay, it says no new version of the system software was found. It's because I just updated it like last week. Anyways, if you do have a newer version, download it, install it, get everything set up, and then go back and open up Hulu and hopefully you're back up and running, okay? If not, we're gonna go to the next step here. Now this is the last step I have for you and what we're gonna do here is a factory reset. We're gonna reset everything back to the factory defaults as if you just bought this Sony Provia TV brand new and took it out of the box. So you will lose all of your Wi-Fi, all of your passwords, and so on, okay? Anyways, we're going to reset it back to the very, very beginning. First thing i got to do is, it's not going through the settings menu. We have to do this, okay? If you look on the bottom of your TV, you're going to have three buttons, okay? You have, uh, now this middle, there's three buttons here. Now this middle one here is the power button, okay? So remember this middle little middle button right here. Let me go ahead and put the TV down. And then let me just press on home. I'll put it on a blank screen here, okay? So this is what I have to do. First thing is just keep your finger on the power button. So find that middle button, keep your finger on there, do not press it. Next thing we wanna do is, if you look at the remote right here, you want to press and hold the up, just up button here. Press and hold up button, and then tap the power button, and then automatically it's gonna do a factory reset. It's, it's not gonna give you a warning or anything like that, okay? So we'll do it together. So put my finger on the power button. I'm gonna go ahead and press on the up uh, bar right here. I'm not pressing the volume up, it's the up bar. Press and hold right now, okay? Press and hold the volume up, point at the TV, and then tap on that power button. Oops, 
Okay, sometimes it doesn't work on the first try. If, if it doesn't work, just use the, uh, the power button and remote, turn it off, and then go ahead and turn it back on. And now, go ahead and put your finger on that power button again, and we're gonna press and hold the up right here, point at TV, press and hold up, and then tap on the power button. Boom, one time. There it is right there, it says reset, let everything go, and it's automatically gonna do a factory reset right now. Very shortly, we'll get the uh, Sony logo on here. Anyways, we just factory resetted it back to the beginning. We'll have to put in input our language, our region, our country. You have to put all your uh, passwords in and whatnot. So after you do that, open up Hulu, and you guys should be back up and running, all right? Uh, let me know which method actually worked for you guys, and good luck.